the Mountain Railway was trying a new type of goods train. The engines would use the truck and collect produce at some of the stations. Farmers often had plenty of produce to offer for the service, so they greatly approved of it. However, one farmer wasn't a fan of the arrangement. Caldi met Alaric at the top station one morning. Have you heard that farmer who's constantly complaining about us? moaned Alaric. Indeed I have, said Caldi. He constantly grumbles about how loud the railway is. Shouldn't have brought a house near the railway if you ask me. Alaric huffed, heading off up the line with the truck. Alaric saw the farmer at the bottom station. He was handing out flyers to the rest of the farmers about how bad the railway is. Roads rule, ditch the railways today, the title read. The rest of the farmers took no notice, but Alaric wasn't paying attention to that. The farmer's lorry was grumbling too. Who are you? asked Alaric. Name's Jason. I know who you are. You're one of those tea kettles who keep me in my own up all night. Tea kettle? laughed Alaric. I've heard that one too many times before. Jason looked cross. Well, it's true. Us trucks are here to replace you. We don't want you taking our farm trains. We can handle them just fine ourselves. Replace me? Alaric complained. Why, I... But before he could finish, the guard's whistle blew, and Alaric scoffed, heading up the line. Jason hurried out of the yard not long after, heading back up to the farm. Further up the line, a small road crosses the railway. Due to the crossing lacking gates, the engines have to whistle here to alert any road vehicles that are approaching. As Alaric approached the crossing, he noticed Jason, hurrying up the road looking grumpy as ever. That blasted lorry, Alaric grumbled to himself. Alaric realized something in alarm. He's not slowing down. Alaric blew his whistle as loudly as he could. The ignorant farmer soon realized what was happening. The driver slammed on the pedal, charging across the crossing just in time. Alaric was very surprised and began to slow down. His driver clambered down from the cab and ran to make sure the farmer was okay. Nobody had been hurt. The farmer wanted to sneak away before anybody noticed him, but the owner of the farm emerged from a nearby cottage. You stupid lorry! He called to Jason. My finest apple tree too! I'll be telling the authorities about this! Alaric thought it would be best to continue as quietly as possible. When Alaric returned to the terminus, his story had reached there before him. The disgruntled farmer and his lorry are in huge trouble. The police came to see them after the accident, shouted Wilfred. What happened to Jason? asked Alaric. He'll be as right as rain, but we won't be seeing him around here anymore. Why ever not? asked Alaric. He's lost his driver's license and had to sell Jason on to pay for a new tree. The engines chortled with glee. But that's not even the best part. Alaric nearly burst out laughing. You don't mean... He's having to go with rail transport for his produce after all. We certainly won't be hearing from him about rail transport being safer anymore, I'm sure. <laughs>